Hello, welcome to Oxford Errands. Well, I've got my buttons sewn on um, and I have gone ahead and pinned um, my hem into place. And I've actually already started the hand sewing by doing some little um, sort of invisible stitches along the back um, placket uh, where the button goes. But I'm just using some tiny whip stitches um, to tack this hem into place, okay? And if you have another stitch that you like to do to hem, that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, for some reason, I just long ago, um, I guess I didn't learn how to do a blind stitch and I learned how to just do some tiny little whip stitches, but that's how I tend to tack things into place. Okay, so this is going to take me a hot minute um, to get this little hem all hemmed into place. And then I think what I want to do, um, I need to get my ruler out and measure because right here where you can see the shadow of the top of the hem uh, going along the garment, um, I want to sew a series of little light blue French knots because in the center of the flowers up here at the top, um, I've got some French knots, and I thought that little French knots along the hem of the garment would be sweet too. Because this mother, you know, she wanted um, a white day gown with some accents of blue, um, and it won't be that much work for me to sew um, a little series of French knots along the hem, and I think that will be real, real sweet. Okay, so I'll be back after I, st after I get this hemmed um, and figure out how far apart um, to do my French knots. Um, and then um, we will start working on that. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got the hem sewn on and I used my um, ruler and I determined that I would do the French knots um, every three quarters of an inch. So I drew a little blue dot every three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to use two strands of embroidery floss and the color that I'm using is number, let me find it, 775 light blue. So I will begin to create my French knots um, along the hem of this garment. And this will take me a while to do, um, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the hem sewed on, on the garment, and I really like this little series of blue French knots um, along the edge of the hemline. Now what I did on the back by the button closure, um, I embroidered the little fella's initials. So the French knots go all the way around um, to the back placket. Now I think this little day gown um, is turning out to be really just elegant. Um, and I look forward to my little friend posting some photos um, of her baby um, in this particular garment. Now, in the next video, I will begin to make the tea cap bonnet to go with this particular gown. And I'll be using the same laces um, along with another lace from out of this insertion family um, and some beading and using a little bit of um, light blue or baby blue um, silk ribbon to accent it. But um, that's going to be real sweet. But in this particular uh, video, what I was doing was I was hemming the garment and in hand embroidering the details at the bottom of the hem. And I think that the embroidery on the sleeve, the front, the little French knots along the hem um, just really make this particular day gown very, very special. Thank you.